Hello, I'm so sorry that I can't be with you today in person, but I want to start off by sending mine and the Baker's Food and Allied Workers Union solidarity to each and every one of you who are in dispute at the minute. To those that thought it was over, dig deep because we're behind you and stand with you. You are inspiring millions of other working people to demand better and we know you're fighting not only for your rights, terms and conditions, but to protect them for future generations too. The cost of living cr continues to cripple people. We have seen yet another rise to interest rates this week, which will be devastating for so many. We know our members working in the food industry were struggling to put food on the table and survive back in 2021 when we ran our right to food survey back then. With the increase to energy and the rising cost of food, as well as everything else, working people are barely scraping by. And it's absolutely disgusting that in the UK, the fifth richest economy in the world, there are more food banks than Greggs and McDonald's stores. We've just rerun our survey asking BFADVU members about their experiences of accessing food during the cost of living crisis. And we've been told that some members feel like their house is a prison. They stay at work longer, so they don't have to worry about putting the heating on. They don't invite people over anymore as they are ashamed and have blankets everywhere to try and keep warm. This is disgraceful in one of the richest countries in the world in 2023. These people are working hard, feeding the nation, yet don't earn enough to survive. They are literally freezing and going hungry. And what are the Tories doing about this? Instead of working with devolved nations and looking at how we get right, a right to decent, nutritious, affordable food for everyone... And I must stress this means more than just offering free school meals because whilst they are great, we've got members that are making sure their kids are having dinner at dinner time but are then doing 12-hour shifts with little to no food in their bellies. Instead of doing that, they're looking at ways in which they can attempt to break unions because everything they've tried so far hasn't worked. But you know what? Whatever they try will continue to fail because trade unions aren't third-party organisations. They are our members who are powerful when they come together collectively. Our members are the general public that they're trying so poorly to get on side. But we can't rest on our laurels. We've got so much work to do. We need to be talking to working people about trade unions, removing the myths and the lies that are peddled by the right-wing media that we're just greedy lefty weirdos and proving that workers coming together, standing shoulder to shoulder, are strong, powerful and enact change because this is so vital to regrowing our movement. We have to take over the spaces that the right wing are trying to edge into and push them back out. Initiatives like Organise Now are helping with this and if you're wondering what that is, have a look on the website, sign up to be a volunteer and join the nearly 200 reps and activists that are already supported over 100 workers begin to organise their workplace. People who wouldn't have even thought about joining or being active in a trade union beforehand. But friends, we can't stop there. Everyone here today needs to go away, talk to your friends, your neighbours, your colleagues, kids and grandchildren about trade unions. Tell them we're not a third party insurance company that swoops in to support them when they're in trouble. That it's not general secretaries like me that are the trade union, but them, their mates and work colleagues, their neighbours that make up the trade union movement and that change happens when we are organised and we stand together collectively workplace by workplace, community by community. We need to be working with community organisations too, moving outside of our own silos and joining forces to be stronger. We work, we work closely with organisations like the Ron Todd Foundation who supported over 20,000 trade union members last year, which is phenomenal and is an amazing example of how important practical solidarity is too. I'm going to leave it there as I know you're going to have a packed day with some amazing speakers. Thank you for everything you do as reps in our movement. You really do hold it up. You are the backbone of the trade union movement. Have a great conference, solidarity, and I'll see you on a picket line soon.